Hey YouTubers, uh, Charles Roy here, and uh, thank you for watching today's tutorial. Um, basically, today we're going to work on um, audio in iMovie. Uh, so I've already uploaded my clip inside my project, uh, so we can work with it, and it already has audio, um, you know, associated with it. And I'm going to show you how we can um, edit audio individually, or we can edit um, a video um, audio as a whole. Um, also, I'm going to show you how we can import uh, you know, actual um, audio clips into your project um, to work with, like I say, you want to put a song over top of a video and you want to get rid of the audio. Uh, so first thing we like to do, let's go ahead and uh, click our video. Uh, and at the left hand, uh, the bottom left corner, you see this little icon pop up. Um, I mentioned earlier uh, in the video tutorial where I said just double click. Um, there are two ways to kind of get into the, um, the info for the project. You can either click here uh, and this gives you um, an exact um, um, thing you'd like to go to in exact menus. Uh, we can go to clip adjustments, video adjustments, or audio adjustments. You can go to precision editor, clip trimmer. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go to audio adjustments. And that just brings up the inspector. Uh, once you're in the inspector, you can still click over to video, click over to clip, and, and whatnot. But the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit the audio and use special presets. So first thing we can do is uh, click none. Uh, and these show you... Okay, this is what the audio originally sounds like. Let's uh, bring the volume up a bit. Um, uh, you can choose muffled. You can't really tell, but uh, it kind of gets rid of some of the noise. Uh, it makes it seem like you're hearing it through like a okay, like a shell. Video sample. You hear that? Uh, we can go to robot, cosmic. Cathedral. I mean, there's a bunch of different um, presets you can choose from. Uh, and they all work. You know, they all, uh, depending on what you're going for, they all work really, really well. We're going to go ahead and go to Echo, and you're going to hear just a moment. See, that's cool. Now, if you have, um, you know, recorded ADR or anything else that's been worked on, um, obviously this will help make your audio sound a lot better. Um, you can make it sound like it's on a telephone. Um, just a bunch of great presets. Uh, but we're now what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how you can um, actually edit the audio's, uh, audio level. Um, you can do it as a whole or you can do it individually. Um, right here, you can choose to make it louder. We can make it up to 500% louder or you can make it all the way down to 0% um, loud. Um, but this is just uh, your, your volume level for the whole clip itself. Um, you can uh, work with the ducking. Um, you can make it go all the way up to 100% or go down to 0%. Uh, this just, again, this is how you edit your clip as a whole. If you like, you can cut your clips up and um, make individual settings for each different clip. Or I will show you how to raise and um, reduce volume uh, using a special audio um, uh, editor. We'll get to that in just a moment. Um, you can also... Uh, do uh, something that's really cool where you can actually create um, a way to fade in your audio by uh, you know uh, clicking on manual or if you just click right into the um, the bar um, the adjuster it automatically clicks manual for you and you can say well let's say uh, if I want five seconds for this audio to kind of fade in and I want about let's say 2.2 seconds for the audio to fade out. It'll recognize in the beginning of the clip, the first five seconds, it's gonna go from zero volume to 100% volume, right around here. And then in the last two seconds of the video, it's gonna fade out from 100% to zero uh, because our volume level is set to 100%. Uh, that's just a really cool little effect you can use. Um, normally I would have to go into other programs to make sure that worked because I would obviously edit in Final Cut and I'd have to apply this kind of effect and apply that effect and adjust it. Right here you just have a simple slider that you can control or um, a level that you can control. Um, you can also get rid, uh, get rid of some of your background noise. Um, so let's see how this works. We're gonna take the background reduction up to let's say 50%. Alright, now let's play the video. Okay, getting a video sample. It sounds a little better. It sounds a little better. But there's still a lot of noise there. Um, it's not something you have to play with and find your happy medium. And I'm taking the fade ins and fade outs out. Uh, so we don't really need that. But let's go ahead and put the uh, enhance, uh, reduce background noise to 100%. See how that plays out. 
Wow, virtually no noise. That's crazy. All right. So now um, we have the ability that we can actually work with our equalizer. This, I don't think the option was in iMovie 10. Um, I used to have iMovie 10 and I barely used it, but I started using iMovie 11 because all these functions they have are just amazing. You could choose from a couple of different presets. You uh, boost your bass, reduce the bass. Uh, you can uh, do a vocal enhancement. You can make it loud. All these different things. Or if you actually know how to work with audio, but you just don't have a good audio program, you can actually adjust it manually. And you know, break this down. You can bring this out of here. You can adjust it however you want. Um, and obviously, keep playing back the video, and you know, it'll help you a lot better than just you know editing it right here and then expecting it to sound right. You want to play the video a couple times and listen to it and make sure the audio sounds its best. But I'm going to go ahead and click revert to original and send everything back to the way it was. Uh, click done. We're done with that. Now I'm going to show you one more trick with editing audio and then we're going to go into adding in uh, a music file. Um, if you click your project, which we have already selected because we see the yellow selected around it, you want to click this icon right here. This says show or hide audio waveforms. When you click this, a little drop down comes down and this blue bar shows us our audio. Now I recorded this on my iPhone so the audio on the iPhone isn't too good. Um, it's very very low and it captures a lot of noise but you actually have the ability to edit the audio's um, height and volume um, but you have an advanced editor that you don't see here. So if I go inside and I click and drag, I can actually select the audio that I want to raise or lower and then manipulate it. Um, what you see here is a little yellow box around this little region of audio and that's the audio we're going to actually manipulate. And let's, let me show you how you do that. See this black bar? Um, whenever you create something with video or you record your audio, um, everything is recorded and saved at what they call zero um, decibels per second. That's the normal level of that particular volume. When you go above zero decibels per second, that makes that piece of volume higher. When you go lower, that makes that piece of volume lower. So what we can do is if we click this black bar and we drop it down, you're going to see it automatically creates two keyframes, one right here and another one right here, and it adjusts like a fade in that audio for you automatically you so you can make it lower to 12 percent down to zero percent you could also make it higher up to 500 percent and it makes this a lot louder so let's play that so you can see how it sounds okay i'm getting a video sample now you can also adjust these keyframes by clicking a keyframe and just dragging it over uh, it's that simple you can adjust this one i can even make this one go all the way to the end and so it'll spike right here, but then it'll just slowly fade out back to zero decibels towards the end of the video. And that's editing the, the audio at its finest. I mean, if I want to edit right here, I just click again, and I can take this, bring that down, and it just manipulates from the end point, or from the beginning point of this uh, region to the end point of this region. And the last thing we want to do is bring in an actual music clip. So you want to click this icon right here. This says show or hide music in sound effect browser. Click that and you can actually um, search the iLife sound effects. You can search GarageBand or you can even search your iTunes library. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just, uh, huh, what's this? I got a biggie. Uh, cash money um, is an army. You click this and drag it over. Oh, what am I doing? Click and drag and you see a green box pop up. That's pretty much saying that you're going to drag the song as a background song for the entire project. Or what you can do is you can bring a song over top of the video clip and it'll play from your from the beginning of your start point uh, where this red line is where you drop the video and it'll end at the end of your clip. Now, I'm probably not going to play this song because it's probably pretty... Uh, pretty vulgar so I don't even know how the song got into my library probably from my brother anywho you can even adjust the volume in this song however you want you can drop the level make it low so it's like ambient background noise um, yeah yeah just already heard an S-bomb <laughs> oh well 
Boom! <laughs> but uh, that's the audio tutorial for iMovie in a nutshell. And that pretty much wraps up our three-part tutorial for iMovie. If you have any questions, if you need any advanced lessons, please send me a message. Um, drop a comment below or send something in my, uh, my email inbox, uh, contact at charlesrow.com. I'd be happy to help you with whatever you need help with. Thank you for watching my tutorial and have a good day.